This is example 4.7 on page 154 of your text. In this example, we're going to be continuing using the concept of limiting reactant and theoretical yield. We're also going to calculate the percent yield of a chemical reaction. So percent yield you calculate by taking the actual yield, which in a word problem will be given to you, over the theoretical yield, which you have to calculate, times 100. And basically, this is a way of um, looking at the efficiency of a reaction. If the amount that was actually made is close to the theoretical yield, you'll have a high percent yield, which means your reaction was pretty efficient. On the other hand, if you have a low percent yield, then the reaction was probably not very efficient. So this problem states that when 28.6 kilograms of carbon reacts with 88.2 kilograms of titanium oxide, the reaction produces 42.8 kilograms of titanium. They want us to find the limiting reactant, the theoretical yield, and the percent yield. So we're given three numbers in the problem, 28.6 kilograms of carbon, 88.2 kilograms of titanium, and then this 42.8 kilograms of titanium. The first two numbers are the amounts of reactants that we're starting with, and that's what we're going to utilize to determine the limiting reactant as well as the theoretical yield. The last number that is given is actually the amount of titanium that was produced by somebody in the lab. So this number we're going to set aside right now, but this is our actual yield. Our job in this problem is to calculate the limiting reactant, determine which of the reactants it is, as well as the theoretical yield. And we'll then plug this into our percent yield equation. So we also have the balanced equation written up top. So I'm going to start with the 28.6 kilograms of carbon. I'm going to determine how much titanium it can produce. So remember, in order to calculate the theoretical yield and figure out the limiting reactant, we start with a reactant material in grams or kilograms and convert that to a product material in grams or kilograms. I'm going to calculate the mass of titanium it can produce since the problem already talks about the actual yield of titanium. You could technically calculate the limiting reactant and theoretical yield for CO, but that's not what this particular problem is asking for. So first up, we're going to be looking at carbon. If it's the theoretical yield and or the um, limiting reactant and what amount of titanium it can produce. So we're starting with 28.6 kilograms. <coughs> and ultimately, we want to figure out how much titanium this can produce. So we're going to use stoichiometry to get there. So first, we got to get from kilograms to grams. So remember, one kilogram is a thousand grams. And we're now in grams of carbon. In order to get into moles, I'm going to use the molar mass of carbon. So I'm going to divide by 12.01 grams C and on top will be one mole carbon. That's the molar mass of carbon that you can get from the periodic table. So now grams cancel, I'm in moles. This is where I look at the chemical reaction and figure out the stoichiometry um, ratio between my reactant and product I'm trying to get to. So I'm going from carbon tit to titanium so I have two moles of carbon for every one mole of titanium. So on the bottom, 
What I'm trying to cancel is carbon, so I'll put the two moles there. Up top goes the one mole of titanium. That's what I'm trying to get to. So moles of carbon cancel. I'm now in moles of titanium. Ultimately, I want to be in mass or kilograms. So I'm going to use its molar mass, multiply um, by the molar mass of titanium, which is 47.87 grams and one mole titanium on the bottom. And then don't forget, we're going from grams to kilograms. So we can compare our mass amounts at the end. So if you do that calculation, you should get roughly 57 grams of titanium. So carbon produces 57 grams of titanium. So now we got to do the same thing with the titanium oxide and figure out which one is our limiting reactant. So we'll start with titanium oxide in the second round. The amount we're given in the problem is 88.2 kilograms titanium oxide. Got to convert it to grams once again. So divide by one kilogram, multiply by a thousand grams. Here's where I use the molar mass of um, my starting material. So I'm going to divide by that. Molar mass of titanium oxide is, whoops, 79.87. Grams in one mole. So now grams cancel. I'm in moles. Here's where I'm going to look at my balanced equation to write a ratio between the titanium oxide and the product titanium. So we look up at our balanced equation one mole of titanium oxide produces one mole of titanium. Since they both don't have coefficients in front of them, it's an understood one. So what we want to cancel goes on the bottom, one mole titanium oxide. What we're trying to get to goes up top, which is one mole of titanium. Moles of titanium oxide cancel. We're in moles of titanium almost to the last step. Now we multiply by the molar mass to get ourselves back into grams. One mole titanium contains 47.87 grams. And our last step is to change back into kilograms. So we'll divide by a thousand, multiply by one kilogram. So if you do that calculation, you should get um, 52.9 grams of titanium is how much titanium oxide can produce. So based on comparing the two, we have 57 grams of titanium produced from carbon, 52.9 grams of titanium produced from titanium oxide. So remember, the one that produces the smallest amount is considered your limiting reactant. So in this case, the maximum amount of titanium we can produce before we run out of material is this 52.9 grams. So that is our theoretical yield. Our limiting reactant is the starting material or reagent that ran out first. So since titanium oxide produces the small amount of titanium, that means it is our limiting reactant in this problem. 
So now we have our theoretical yield. We were given our actual yield in the problem. It was stated at the very beginning. We kind of set it aside until now. Now's the point where we're going to use it. So I'm going to transfer over to my next slide. Remember that our actual yield, how much was actually produced, is 42.8 kilograms of titanium. Our theoretical yield, how much we could potentially produce if our reaction went 100% efficiently, is the 52.9 kilograms titanium that we calculated in our problem. So if we take these two, divide actual yield over theoretical, and multiply that by 100, you should get a the, um, percent yield of 80 point, let me erase that so you can see it better. Um, 80.9%. So that means that the reaction was about 80% efficient. Um, we produced about 80% of what was theoretically possible to produce. So your final answer for this problem, limiting reactant is going to be titanium oxide. Your theoretical yield We calculated from our limiting reactant is 52.9 kilograms. And our percent yield we just calculated is 80.9%.